food uh, insecurity and malnutrition levels are among the highest now in the world. 10 million people, more than half of the population are food insecure. There are nearly a million malnourished children. Um, this is one thing that I highlighted in my briefing to the Council. And to date, less than half of the humanitarian appeal for Yemen has been funded. An additional 340 million is urgently required to meet increased humanitarian needs. Those who uh, undermine the government of national unity and the political transition should be prepared to be held to account. Obstruction continues at various levels. Attacks on oil and gas electricity infrastructure are costing the Treasury uh, an estimated loss of 250 million per month. Military action alone is, um, cannot solve um, the radicalization and um, um, uh, the terrorism threat. The only way to achieve lasting stability is to address also some of the underlying grievances, in particular in the South. When seen against this background, it is hard to overestimate the relevance of the national dialogue uh, process for the success of this transition. So to put it bluntly, um, if the national dialogue fails, many expect that the, that the entire transition and peace process will collapse. So it is clear the stakes are very high. All Yemeni constituencies are um, competing to participate you know, in the national dialogue. Um, this is very healthy. So um, uh, something has changed. Only um, um, a few months ago, the country was on the verge of civil war. Um, there was war and confrontation, um, violence. The main language was violence. Now the dominant language is, is, is national dialogue.